The premier of the Turks and Caicos Islands, Honorable Dr. Michael Mizek, addressed some major issues arising in the TCI, primarily that of the Belonga worker. Here's more. The premier of the Turks and Caicos Islands, Honorable Michael Mizek, wants employers to know that discrimination against Turks Islanders or Belongers won't be tolerated. At a recent press conference at the Premier's office on Monday, Leader of the Nation, along with Minister of Home Affairs, Honorable Galma Williams, and Honorable Jeffrey Hall, Minister of Communications, met with a number of locals within the community to discuss labor issues and confer discriminatory concerns pertaining to the Belonger worker. There's a lot of prosperity in these islands and there seem to be a lot of jobs. Um, uh, their complaint is that not sufficient of these jobs are going to uh, to belongers. Um, as you know, uh, my government, we're committed to empowering belongers. Uh, we've taken their concerns uh, into consideration. Uh, we've given them a, a public deadline of uh, Friday to be able to uh, solve some of the issues that they uh, have come up with. But I'd like to take this opportunity really uh, uh, in the strongest possible terms to say to uh, you know, business people, both uh, uh, belong as an expatriate that um, there's more than enough for all of us to, to participate in and uh, it certainly concerns us that to have this amount of uh, a young men uh, in particular to come to us um, saying that they've gone on job sites looking for jobs and uh, have been turned turn off or turned away for, uh, time and time again. The group of unemployed men was noticeably from the Rastafarian community. The Premier said he hopes this is not a trend and not some sort of prejudice towards... Any discrimination against any Turks and Caicos Islander is, is one that we take serious. Um, whether you're a Rasta or whether you're a Baptist or whether you're a Methodist, you des uh, and you're, if you're a belonger, you deserve the right to, to be employed, you deserve, you deserve the right to, uh, uh, to earn a living. Um, you have a, every, all of these are... Men have families, they have kids. Uh, the fact that they may be of a, of a different religion should be no bearing uh, in, in whether they are able to get work or not. And if there's anyone idea or companies that are discriminating against people based on, on that, um, and we find out, we will suddenly take, take that very serious. The Premier stated that his government will assure more is done to protect the belonger worker. Those of you who, who don't hire belongers, uh, we have ways of making sure that, that, that uh, belongers are employed and uh, through the, the control of work permits. And so uh, I think we, we need to send a clear message that, that we would work with the people who are working with us to ensure to, to ensuring that our people are employed. This press conference was the upshot of a three-day protest by the men and women who claimed in Friday's newscast that they were being overlooked for job positions and discriminated against on the work site along with other issues. A demonstration was held on Friday morning, continued on Saturday, and went on until Monday in downtown Providence Alleys. The Premier assured the group and the media that this problem will be rectified immediately. The private sector will work with the government to ensure uh, that our policy of um, belonger empowerment, that uh, jobs going to belong first uh, um, is the order of the day. And so, um, as I said, we were very concerned um, with what seemed to be the trend. And I can assure you that, um, uh, you know, we will nip this in the bud before, uh, uh, before it gets any further.